For this part of the video, what we're going to do is the cover. And what I thought would be um, kind of cool for this cover would be, I wanted to still keep with the farm theme. So I was thinking about doing, um, I'm going to turn the cover into a chicken coop. So this idea, um, I have no idea how this is going to work, but I'm going to videotape it anyway. And then if it doesn't work out, I'll scrap the video. But what I did to start with is come up with a template. I didn't want to ruin my cover by doing anything on the cover, so I just made I just took a little piece of scrap cardboard and cut it, you know, my, my book is six by nine. I just cut it six by nine. And then I kinda of drew my outline on the front. And I know you probably can't see it, but it's there. Then I took um this was just a little piece of scrap, real thin wood that I had sitting out in the garage and I just cut it down on a, it's just a little cheap miter saw that I got, I think it was like nine dollars at Home Depot, I had it forever, and this is going to be like the roof, and the reason why I'm using wood is because I'm going to use actual chicken wire, and so I needed something sturdy on there, and I thought that this wood would be like the sturdy part to hold it to the top, and then we're just going to wing it like I always do and figure it out as we go. So the first step I want to try here is, um, after I drew out my little template here, I went and got some of my scrap pieces of chipboard. And this is, a, I think this is more like the heavyweight. It's a little bit stronger. And I don't want too much wood on the cover because I don't want to make it too heavy. So this is the only wood I'm going to have. The rest of it will be like just decorative um, chipboard pieces. So I'm going to paint these because I want this to be white and then I'm going to stress out the edges and, and uh, stain them. So we're going to start with some white paint. And hopefully, there it is, something to put the white paint on. We're just going to put a nice layer of white paint on here, but it doesn't have to be super special because remember we're just going to sand it off. Okay, so here's all my pieces are done. I've got them all painted and sanded, and the paint that I used, in case you I didn't say it earlier, was the Apple Barrel. This is just the plain white, and the sizes for these, are, this is just scrap, so there's no specific length. As you can see, they're all over the place, but some of them are a half an inch wide. Some of them are a quarter of an inch wide, um, and that's just because I'm not sure what size I'm going to need. I painted them all, now I've sanded them, and I've used the Tim Holtz tea dye stain on the edges of everything. So I think I am ready to figure out how to put it together. I also went and found my staple gun because I think that's probably going to be the best way to start is to pick an edge and then staple gun it to this. Then after I staple gun, let's see, I think that should do it. Maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna be rearranging my chicken wire, pulling it. This is just leftover piece of chicken wire from the dress form that I made for the Christmas fair. I had like just a little strip of it left. If I was going to go out and buy it, I would have bought something with smaller little chicken holes, the wire holes. But since I'm just using what I have left over, beggars can't be choosers. So I want this to set just off of the outside of the page. So this is where I think I'm going to go. I'm just going to wrap that so I know exactly where it is. And flip it over. Then carefully, hopefully, 
stable it. Let's see. One more. There. Hopefully, I didn't just wake up my whole family. Good. So this one. Here, you sit down. Maybe a little bit more this way. Yeah. Let me roll this little piece over. I'm gonna set it on the floor for a second because that. Since everybody's asleep, I don't want to wake them up. I think this is turning out to be pretty cool. Okay, this part, I'm just going to take my little trimmers because I don't want any sharp edges sticking out or poking out of anywhere that can catch on to my book or people or any of that. So I'm just going to cut them off. Shot me in the head. Uh. Memories of the dress form coming back with every poke. Ah, there we go. This is what we have so far. Some of this I'm going to have to pull the wire as I'm making it so that it will go to the edges of the book. But I'm not going to stress out about that right now. And then other stuff I'm going to have to trim off, but I'll do that after I get ready to put it on the book so I don't trim off stuff I don't want to. So my other pieces, my bigger pieces, I was planning on going across here. So this one will go right along the bottom, like that. So let's cut that one. Where are you? These will, this one's going to go underneath so it will be hot glued to the back, but not until I'm positive where all the pieces are going to sit. So it's just going to kind of hang out here for a minute. Just stuff it under the wire. this to the bottom of that. There. About chicken wire. You can bend it. And this is, I think of mentioned it in a video before but it's a high temperature glue gun so you've got a little bit of time before your glue sets up. 
So if you need to move things about or if you get a low temp gun and try to do stuff like this, it'll dry before you can even get it set up. Yeah, it's still not even all the way dry yet. Uh, some of that was probably out of camera, but I couldn't see it the other way and I didn't want to ruin it by not being able to see it. So there's the glue. It's on underneath of this piece right here. And like I said, the chicken wire I'm going to trim later. Right now I'm just attaching all these pieces together. The chicken wire is just going to kind of hang out in the back until I get it everything else set the way I want it. So this is how we're at, where we're at right now. So once it's down on the book, it's going to look like this so far. So now I want to put the rest of my pieces on. And I still have a lot of stuff hanging over the sides, but like I don't want to trim any of it until I put it on the book. Because I want to know exactly how much extra I have. doing is kind of going along the back because you're not going to see this part and it's going to this is going to be attached to the book so I'm going to glue it to just to kind of keep it sitting flat okay so here's the assembly it's all done as much as I can do off of the book and um just glued all the pieces together with hot glue and then on the back it looks very ugly but I wanted all of my um, chicken wire to lay flat so I just hot glued it to the pieces of chipboard that's nice and sturdy it's not going anywhere and then the next step will be to attach it to the book but before it goes on the book I need to put the background on the book so this is going to sit on top of here but there's going to be a background behind it. So we'll get to work on that next. Okay, so I took a little break to try to figure out what I'm going to do with um, behind the chicken coop and I think I've got it pretty well figured out. So I also just kind of whipped up a few flowers from my little stash with colors that I think might look good with this. So let me move this. These are my stamps that I'm going to use on here and I also have a couple little eggs and a butterfly and some other stuff so I'm going to put them all on here and see how it turns out this is just some when it's behind the chicken coop it looks like kind of like hay but I think it's just like that little raffia stuff I'm pretty oh it has wire in it I don't know what this is 
I had a big thing of it and I wasn't sure what to do with it so I think I got it in a swap and I wasn't sure what it was but it'll work so we're just gonna kind of glue some of this down you see my glue gun has enough glue in it it's gonna run out here in a second I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit on the bottom of each one of these because I don't think I need a lot of glue here I don't want to see a bunch of a bunch of glue. Okay, so there's there's that so far. The only thing left is to put my little butterfly up at the top, but I have to figure out where he's going to sit before I attach it. So he will go about... I think he's going to look good right there. And I'm going to cut out another little butterfly that's a different size and color and put it on the other side. I just haven't found it yet. Mark a little X where he's going to go. Alrighty, so here we go. This is the inside of it. And I was going to tell you this paper. I think I cut that part off. This one was Little Yellow Bicycle. And it was from the Winterings collection. So it actually has kind of a winter pattern on the bottom with the snowflakes, but I just used this part of it because I thought it, it looks kind of like barn wood and I thought it would look kind of cool behind it. But that took me forever to figure out what paper I wanted behind this. I think I made a pretty good choice. So now this is going to glue onto the back of that and that's how that's going to look right there. Then. I'll start decorating the outside of the chicken coop because I have some plans for that too. So first thing is to bring down this a little bit, a little thick. Then I want to glue my my edges. Now comes attaching it to the book. And for that, I'm just going to cover this paper right here with the um, tacky glue. This one. Mainly because I can move it around for a minute, but then once it dries, it's, it's not going to come off. Okay, so 
so here we go. We are on the book. Now, what we're going to do is start putting some things on the outside. And the first thing, I didn't really do this when I made them, so I'm just going to do it real quick on anything that's too bright. Some of the blue and the green in the back is a little bright. other things I want to put on here. I have some stamps that are going to go on the outside and some words. So first is the words because I want to make sure they're positioned where I want them before I add any more stuff because I want to make sure I have enough room. These letters right here came from this die set here. It's a Tim Holtz alterations and it's alphabetical. That's the one that I used for the words and it's just going to say the good life. But I only did the first two out of there. Letters are all on, and now we're going to do a little bit more on here. Uh, one of the other things that I wanted to put was I wanted something to go here. So I'm going to glue that to right there. Okay, that looks good. And I also have this little, like, looks like a little seed bag, so I'm going to put it right next to the flower. Looks like chicken seed. And afterwards, I can't do it right now, but, because I have to take the pockets off of the inside and redo the inside, but I've got a knob, it's one of the Tim Holtz knobs, and I'm going to screw it into right here. And how that's going to work is on the back side here, I'm just going to lift this pocket off, screw this in, and then put replace the pocket right back over the top. Which, good note for everybody is if you're going to screw anything into the cover, do that before you, would, before you do your inner pocket. I got a little overzealous. Did a little too quickly. But it's okay. So far, he's turning out pretty cute. Put him in there. Just looking to see if there's anything else at all. That I want to attach to the outside before I. Oh, life. I guess this would be good. I'm going to use these little ones here. 
And these came out of this. This set is the Girls Papery. And it's got um, all these letters in it and it's got numbers, all kinds of good stuff. So I bought a few boxes of these because I, I use these letters quite a bit. So I just have to glue it on right where I want it. Another thing that probably I didn't think of until now that probably would have looked good on here is the Tim Holtz Crackle Paint. Because I have that too, but I didn't really think about it at the time. So too late for me, but you could use the Crackle Paint. I think it would look really cool. And there it is. Now, where is this? I'm going to brush this up a little bit on the top. Looks a little too nice. And then I'm going to take, when the rooster crows, I'm going to put it right there. So. And I can't do this with a back on it because it won't fit. So I just have to do it by hand. I'm just going to set it where I want it and then push it down. And then hope that it came out close enough. And there it is. I think that looks very nice. Okay, so here's the finished cover. It's all ready to go on the outside. Um, these are the stamps that we used on the inside. This is the just called Roosters, and it's. TPC Studio, and that's what we put on the back, and then all the little embellishments here, Let me bring it up where you can see it, and then the only thing left really to add will be my, on the side here, I'll have, um, I'm going to hook onto here, one of the, I haven't made it yet, but it'll be one of the, the dangly chains with all my little um, charms hanging off of it, and probably some ribbon that'll match all of this will go right here on the side. And then I'm most likely this book will end up being kind of fat, so I'll need a clamp, some kind of clasp to clasp it together from one side to the other. And it's most likely just going to be something like this with a chain that'll just hook across to here and wrap around. And that will be it for the outside of this book. And then the inside, nice and solid, is just. This is where we're at so far. We've done all these pages here. And these and this. So this is going to be next right here. This page, this page, and this will be the next section that we finish. And that's it for today.